Hello, this is Dr. Carlo Oger, Emergency Physician and Founder of edxitvideo.com. This video is about priapism. Priapism is a persistent, usually painful erection that lasts more than four hours and occurs without sexual stimulation. The condition develops when blood in the penis becomes trapped and unable to drain. It is a true urologic emergency that may lead to permanent erectile dysfunction and penile necrosis if left untreated. There are two categories of priapism, low flow and high flow. Low flow is a type of priapism that results from blood being trapped in the erection chambers. It often occurs without a known cause in men who are otherwise healthy, but also affects men with sickle cell disease, leukemia, or malaria. High flow priapism is more rare than low flow and usually not painful. It is the result of a ruptured artery from an injury to the penis or perineum, the area between the scrotum and the anus, which prevents blood in the penis from circulating normally. One cause of priapism is sickle cell anemia. Some adult causes of priapism are the result of this disease, and approximately 42% of all adults with sickle cell will eventually develop priapism. A lot of medications can cause priapism, either by side effects of the medication or misuse of the medications. Drug-related priapism includes drugs such as trazodone or Desirel, Thorazine, and for people who have erectile dysfunction, injection therapy medications to treat the condition may also cause priapism. Other causes include trauma to the spinal cord or genitalia, black widow spider bites, carbon monoxide poisoning, illicit drug use like marijuana or cocaine, and cancer. Also, recent infection with mycoplasma pneumonia and malaria can cause priapism. Treatment. The goal of all treatment is to make the erection go away and preserve future erectile function. If a person receives treatment within four to six hours, the erection can almost always be reduced with medication. If the erection has lasted less than four hours, decongestion medications, which may act to decrease blood flow to the penis, may be helpful. Other treatment options include the application of ice packs. Applied over the penis and perineum may decrease the swelling. Surgical ligation. Used in some cases where an artery has been ruptured, the doctor will ligate or tie off the artery that is causing the priapism in order to restore normal blood flow. Intracavernous injection. Used for low flow priapism. During this treatment, drugs such as alpha agonists or phenylephrine are injected into the penis that cause the veins to narrow, reducing blood flow to the penis and causing swelling to subside. Other treatment options, like a surgical shunt, also used for low flow priapism, a shunt is a pathway that is surgically inserted into the penis to divert blood flow and allow circulation to return to normal. Aspiration. After numbing the penis, doctors will insert a needle and drain blood from the penis to reduce pressure and swelling. The doctor will consider the use of oral alpha-adrenergic agonists for 3-5 to five days to help prevent recurrent episodes. Some patients may have recurrent priapism. These patients may have a home supply of terbutaline, either orally or by injection. Patients with sickle cell disease may also benefit from injections of Lupron. Priapism is a true medical emergency. If you used any medication to enhance erections and the erection is not going away, it's very painful. You must be evaluated. For more videos like this video, please go to edxitvideo.com. And remember, this is an educational video and should never replace the attention or care of a primary care doctor. Please, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.